O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his steadfast love endures forever. Uh, Christ is risen indeed this Easter morning, and I'm going to go inside because it's cold out here. But I just wanted to get a little shot of the sunset. Um, it is so good to praise with you all this morning, and, and I am so thankful for the risen Christ on today of all days. So I'm going to sneak back inside. I hope you'll excuse the shaky cam and you'll hear the rest of the psalm. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of righteousness. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. And I got to the door right on time. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm sitting where many of you are used to me just because the light is better, but uh, I've tried to make it feel a little bit like Easter here. What a good Easter day. I hope you all feel the presence of the risen Christ and hope you know that, that I, am, I am here for you wherever you are, wherever you're watching this, whatever your circumstances. Um, today is such a good day to praise God. I want to thank everyone who helped out with Swepsonville Day. We made, I don't have a final count at this moment because it is sunrise Easter day. It didn't feel right to record before Easter day. Uh, but I think we raised around $200 yesterday for, for our snack pack ministry. And that was such a fun event down there. Hopefully uh, the first of many Swepsonville days in the future. Our Google Meet is going to meet tonight. We decided uh, we were going to meet. If you are not having any big Easter plans, feel free to join us. And uh, we are beginning worship uh, in the sanctuary today. We're still going to be wearing masks, still going to be trying to distance. Uh, but as hopefully we start to feel safer, I hope you'll consider joining us. Uh, but, but we'll be here for as long as any of you all need. So... Let's, let's begin with a word of prayer. Almighty God, through Jesus Christ you overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate the day of our Lord's resurrection may, by the renewing of your spirit, arise from the death of sin to the life of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Earth and heaven in chorus say. Alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high. Alleluia. 
It is so good to be with you all this Easter day. I cannot say enough the joy that it brings my heart to say that Christ is risen, to, to believe it, to feel it, and to know the resurrection of God in my heart. And I hope you feel the same. The scripture reading, I lost my water. I had it somewhere. Comes from John chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went together to the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned from their home, to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them what he had said, that he had said those things to her. This is the word of God, the message of the resurrection for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Easter can be as big as we want it to be. It's sort of a Christian pastime to tell people and to tell each other, well, you know, Christmas isn't actually the biggest, East, biggest Christian holiday. Easter, the new birth, the resurrection, the second life, as it were, the rebirth of Jesus Christ from the cross, cross to victory. That's our biggest day. And it is the day we celebrate every Sunday. We worship on the, the, the eighth day, the new day which God has made. And so every Sunday is a little Easter, and Easter is really what we're celebrating all year long. And Easter uh, can be as big as you want it theologically. If you ask the, the smart theologians, they will tell you that Easter is a cosmic event, the, the historical event around all, which all time revolves. That is, Easter, Christ's resurrection from the grave, is God's cosmic victory over the powers of sin and death over the devil, and over 
all this sin which has laid waste to our world. It is the new birth from Adam's one sin to Christ's redemption. All things have been redeemed. The whole of this universe, that's how big Easter is. And if you ask uh, another theologian, they might say that, that Easter is God's ultimate promise of liberation. That is, the key event signified throughout history that, that God is with people who suffer. That God is ultimately working to, to free slaves from captivity, as in Egypt, all of us from the captivity of death, and working to liberate oppressed people. Easter is the sign of all that. The biggest political activity in the history of the world, freeing the slaves from Egypt and, and, and freeing people from oppression throughout our history, that is what Easter is. And if you ask another theologian, they might tell you that Easter is, is the key event for the resurrection of our souls. That is, that, that the new life which you and I have found in Christ, it began that day. That we have all been crucified with Christ and raised with him, and so our souls have been freed to live our heaven today. And if you ask another theologian, they might tell you that Easter is a great worldwide sign that evil does not get the last say. That goodness and peace and light ultimately win. That love ultimately wins. Easter can be as big as you want it. And Easter can be as big as you want it in the church. We can have two services or three services and the best breakfast of the year. And we can celebrate it um, for 50, 50 days as we do. Ten days longer than Lent. And, and most churches do something special. They decorate as this sanctuary is so beautifully decorated today. Uh, most of it behind you. And, and a lot of churches will pull out all the stops. They have the road signs. They will tell you Easter is the biggest day of the year. And they will go all out and sing the, the, the loudest songs of praise. Easter can be as big as we want to make it. But it comes down to this. There were people who were not so different from you or me. There were people who grieved the loss of a friend, a son, a brother, a teacher. There were people who grieved for someone they loved dearly. These people, as you or I have, they thought that they had heard his voice for the last time. As so many of us think back on the last conversation we had with someone we loved, and they thought that they had seen his face for the last time. As, as you or I have perhaps watched caskets close or, or be lowered into the ground. They thought, as we all ultimately must, that the rest of their lives would be lived up with this absence. That they would just have to get used to it. They thought this was how things would just be without this person they loved. And they saw him again. 
they heard his voice speaking to them again, Mary. They felt his breath on their shoulder again as they embraced. That is as big as it gets. Amen. I serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. I know that He is living, whatever foes may say. I see His hand of mercy, I hear His voice of cheer. And just the time I need Him, He's always near. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives salvation to impart you ask me how i know he lives he lives within my heart in all the world around me i see his loving care and though my heart grows weary i never will despair i know that he is leading through all the stormy blasts the day of his appearing will come at last he lives he lives christ jesus lives today he walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way he lives he lives salvation to impart you ask me how i know he lives he lives within my heart rejoice rejoice oh christian lift up your voice and sing Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King, the hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives, he lives within my heart. Would you pray with me? Almighty Lord, we thank you for this resurrection day where you have poured hope into our hearts. We ask that you would live in our hearts, Lord, this day and always. May we walk with the risen Christ in all the things we do and in all the places we go. Lord, may we be a sign of resurrection for a world still so marred with death. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to close with the words of one more hymn, which I cannot stop singing on Easter, and for some reason I, I didn't, I think it sounds better with a group, so I didn't sing it today, but but hear these words as you go forth today uh, to praise God in all you do. Lo, in the grave he lay, Jesus my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph o'er his foes, he arose a victor from the dark domain, he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Vainly they watch his bed, Jesus my Savior. Vainly they seal the dead, Jesus my Lord. Death cannot keep its prey, Jesus my Savior. He tore the bars away, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he arose. With a mighty triumph o'er his foes, he arose a victor from the dark domain. He lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose. He arose. Hallelujah. Christ arose. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord today and always. And in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.